Good day, my darling oddities, and welcome back to Otter Space, the part of your brain that never does the dishes and wonders why there's so many goddamn dishes. I am here welcoming back my friend Skitch the Wolf. How are you, Skitch? Oh, I'm doing great. How are you doing today, Otter? Doing good, doing good, doing real good. Uh, just before the stream, we were, we were talking about uh, my, the coffee I'm drinking, and it's uh, uh, one of my favorite kinds of coffee. It's called Death Wish Coffee, and uh, hashtag not sponsored. Um... Bean, do you really need to start fussing the second stream starts? <laughs> <laughs> I swear she knows. She knows. Anywho, uh, this is Skitch's second appearance on Beefos, and we are glad to... I say we. I am glad to welcome you back. And uh, how are you doing today? What's what's new in the world of Skitch? Well, I'd like to think that I'm a part of that we. I'm glad to be back, too. That's fair. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> but, okay fair enough. No, uh, things have been doing all right. Uh, I've recently started drinking coffee. I'd like mm -hmm. to think as a result of being on BFOS the first time, but... Uh... One of us. One of us. <laughs> oh, God. I hear the voices when I sleep. I Ugh. hear the voices when I'm dreaming. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so... no. I've, I've, I've been doing all right. Been doing all right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, uh, so so I've, I've seen lately you've been you've been uh, amping up your, your work on YouTube. I've seen a lot more sketch-based content on YouTube, and that's always good. How's that going yeah. for you? Uh, gotta tell you, I was surprised because I was recently just doing, um, like, VOD posting because mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I'm not going to lean too heavily into it, you know. And then uh, I posted uh, a couple of shorts, and those took off. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, uh, what was it? I posted a uh, Tears of the Kingdom VOD, yep, and that yep. got, like, almost 2K views. So, yeah, no, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ride that wave a little bit. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. I'm not I, jealous I, in the slightest. <laughs> <laughs> but I've, I've been using shorts as a way to kind of, like, flex my video editing a little bit to kind of, like, you know, because I, I want to edit videos a little bit, but at the same time, I... I also am just like, I don't have the patience for a full length video. Yes. So shorts is shorts have been perfect. They've been perfect for that. Yes. I, I do like me some, like I, I enjoy making the short term content, the, you know, all the, the visions from outer space and stuff. I'm thinking about, uh, transitioning, uh, the news from the other side over to short form. Uh, you were, hmm. you were one of my, my, uh, news sources. I almost said victim. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, listen, that case is still ongoing, but uh, it doesn't sound like it's going good. Yeah, it does yeah, not sound like it's going good. Under N NDA, not allowed to discuss it in public. Uh, you know what? NDA be damned. Uh, those pigs are, uh, they're crafty. I gotta let you know, they're a little crafty. Yeah, whenever they're on the stand, they really ham it up. Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. You know, the, the that lawyer really brings home the bacon. Ah, uh, hey oh, there it is. Yeah, uh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh brain fart <laughs> i'm sure I well, let making... me let me ask you how you been otter uh, what, what's new oh, in the world good, of the otter good working on uh, uh crafting a new manor Ottenberg. so that's been a lot of the background work um so so that'll be coming soon uh i i may not have uh some some weird uh interruptions to service as it were in the near future as we we transition over to the new fortress um yeah so that's the bean will have her own yard for the first time and ever. Ooh, <laughs> so we're excited nice, for nice. that. We're very excited for that. And uh, uh, as far as content goes, I'm just kind of keeping on, keeping on. Uh, don't have any videos at 2K views, but you know I'm not <laughs> not jealous or anything. I'm just gonna just gonna drink my. Coffee. Hey, you'll get there. You'll get there. A lot of coffee sip. <laughs> A little bit of that coffee ASMR. It's cool. It's cool. You know, I, I'm sad because I know that there's there's actually a market out there where people are just slivering coffees into a microphone and, and somehow making bank off it. And I'm like, you know what? There's no way I can do that. I, I, I would just... Uh, hey, hey, don't knock it. Don't knock it. Listen, that could be your first 2K. <laughs> I am not going to be the slurping otter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, that's one hell of a moniker. Oh, bro, if I ever open a bar, that's what I'm going to call it, the slurping otter. Ooh, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, I got a hash mm -hmm. uh, a cat ca copyright copyright uh, otter space uh, yeah, uh, yeah, enterprise. Yeah, register it. Register it. Uh, otter otter space enterprises has claimed the slurping otter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. Uh, oh then, lord. Then again, people might Google that and be disappointed that it's just a coffee bar. <laughs> uh, well, they could be pleasantly surprised. Actually, also true. Also true. 
Metal Metal <laughs> Metal Gear code name Slurping Otter. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna put the bean over here so I can see chat. There we go. Hello, bean. <laughs> Slurping. We've got Revolver Ocelot, Decoy. Uh, also, hi, Matt Madness. The X one two thirteen. Thirteen. I was like, how many? How many ones is that? Matt Matt Madness thirteen. Welcome to Outer Space, the part of your brain that never does the dishes and wonders why there are so many goddamn dishes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got we, we we got ourselves a revolver ocelot. Uh, we got a, a liquid snake. We got we got a decoy octopus, and we've got slurping otter. It's like, all right, okay, hold on. <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> nah, fits. Hey, listen, if you know anything about Kojima, you know that fits right within his <laughs> wheelhouse. That's that's fair. That's fair. Um, <laughs> speaking speaking of uh, of Metal Gear games, I, I, you know I've only ever actually played Metal Gear One and Two. Um, really, Metal Gear Solid One and Two, I should say. Um, mm -hmm. But I find certain amusement in the fact that in in one of the later games, um, is it three or four? Um, the what is his name? Is the sadness, the sorrow? Oh uh, the... yeah, the 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 sorrow. Yeah, yeah, the sorrow. Uh, he's, yep. he's so the that's old dude, a... right. That's Metal Gear Solid Three. Actually, the the old dude is the end. Oh, the end. The sorrow. Yeah, and that's that's one of my favorite boss fights in all of video gaming. Okay, so 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 do you do you know the secret to that boss fight? Yeah, you uh, you set your console ahead of gear, and he dies of old age. Yep. <laughs> And I and I find certain levels of amusement in that. Uh, I've never played the game, but I, is the sorrow the guy with the beast? You know, I think you might be right. I think I think the sorrow. Uh, you might know be what? Right. I, I had nothing else to add to that. It is the sorrow? Yeah, I was like, what? Tell me, please. <laughs> I believe that was the pain. Oh, that would make sense, too. Isn't the sorrow... Yep. Hmm. The sorrow is dead. Well, well, He's a ghost. That's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he is a ghost. Adequate name, adequate name. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, so, yeah, I've only ever played the... Hi, Bean. Hello. I've only ever played Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2. Poorly, I might add. Um, mm. You ever seen that meme where it's like, uh, stealth for this mission is optional, and it's just somebody with like a hand, like a, a hand cannon or like a, a Gatling gun? Yeah, that's me. Ah, I see. Wah ha 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 ha. Oid. O Y D. Otter time? Oid Otter time. Oid Otter time. Is it old Otter time? What's the. Ow. Oh, that's a bear. I got bared. <laughs> I can't bear this pain. Uh, <laughs> I've. Oh, let's see. I've played one, two, and three, and five. Uh, Phantom Pain. I played a couple of the uh, the PSP ones too. I played uh, Metal Gear Acid. I played Metal Gear Peace Walker. Uh, actually, I played quite a few of them. I just, I've never played four or Revengeance, and I'm very upset that I haven't yet. Speaking speaking of uh, of of Metal Gear games, did you know that somebody actually made Metal Gear Rex in Tears of the Kingdom? Oh uh, yeah, I did like, see that. I did see that. <laughs> I, I don't like. I'm sitting here like, okay, wheel on a piece of wood makes piece of wood that goes. <laughs> listen, I'm listen. I'm trying, I'm trying to to make cars that can fly, and everyone's out here making like full scale mechs at work, it's and terrifying. I'm just like, bro, I, bro, I'm still in the Stone Age, man. Come on. <laughs> Seriously, like I, I, I do some people. People are too good at things. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I I don't know what it is because this was also like day one. Yeah, this was yeah. like day one when videos were coming out, and I'm baffled at the amount of time people have it's devoted a, it, to these. It's insane. It really is. Uh, Voodoo Goblin, welcome. By the way, I never actually said hello. Welcome to Outer Space, the part of your brain Voodoo that Goblin. hates doing dishes, but always wonders why there's so many dishes to do. Voodoo, voodoo Goblin, how's it going? Voodoo, voodoo, good. Okay. Uh, voodoo the hoodoo. We got voodoo. We got hoodoo. We got things I ain't even tried. We walks go on through to the otter side. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's legally distinct from the other song just just gonna put that out there <laughs> mm, um mm. any who's a bops um so so last time sketch was here we did a game that was based on the far side correct yes yes if you don't use dishes you don't have to clean them technically true but i have yet to get the bean to stick her hand in the boiling pot of uh, spaghetti noodles so i mean she'd mm. probably do it but i don't think think you know child services looks well upon that uh no listen you got you got to start early otherwise yeah. otherwise it never takes <laughs> got to we, we got to build up the skin around those paws make it real thick like oh Fire, yeah fireproof being the origin <laughs> story <laughs> Uh, you know, if there's ever, like, a, a game where, like, the enemy's main power is being, like, heatproof or whatever, and it's like, how did you get this power? It's like, 
flashback to mom sticking his hands in the pot of spoiling spaghetti. What was it? I watched a was I watched the last Spider Man movie that came out, the last Tom Holland one, the one when they brought um, Tommy McGuire and Andrew Garfield back, and they were talking about some of their past villains, and they were talking about Electro, mm-hmm. and how he got his powers just by falling in a aquarium of electric eels, and that was it. That was his origin story. Oh. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, Spider Man's origin story is got bit by spider. It wasn't just any spider, though. It was radioactive. Yeah, but still. <laughs> I, I know it's the semantics of the situation, it, but... <laughs> it, yeah, it, it, is, it is semantic. I mean, I, 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 I got bit by a radioactive cup of coffee, but, uh, you know, I don't... I don't nothing happened ah, to me. <laughs> scalding. Ugh. Eh, I bit back for what it's worth. <laughs> uh, hey, you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, it was mid-tier coffee, though. I'll tell you that much. Uh <laughs> Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you know what? So, so yeah, speaking of speaking of mid tier coffee, uh, you know, I'll tell you the story about the worst cup of coffee I ever had. Oh, um, please do. And and it, it comes to my mind because the coffee, my friend, the coffee was the color of your fur. Ah, yeah. Coffee should not be that color. Um, unfortunately for me, it was the first time meeting a girlfriend's parents. Um, Ooh, and they really? offered me a cup of coffee that was again this color this gray color right here oh and i was like oh thanks yeah it's pretty hard to grin and bear it yeah that that was tough that was tough because (laughs) it was also like they i don't i don't want to bash them no they were not nice people so i guess i can feel Uh, free to bash them they were pretty bad people um okay oh geez okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah, um there, there was there was cobwebs that had cobwebs like you could knit a shirt out of these cobwebs, man. Uh, it was not a good oh, time. Li- wait, literal cobwebs? Yes. Ooh, mm, mm. like not about that life, homie. Yeah, like the like they they saw the top of the shelves and like you know what we're not putting anything up there. No need to clean that. That's good enough. And I mean, it, if they're gonna give you coffee that looks like me, yeah. I mean that that's a that's yeah. red flag number one. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Well, red, yeah, yeah. It, there was a lot of. There are a lot of things I didn't like about that that uh, particular situation, but I digress. We are not in that particular situation anymore. This, mm-hmm. this was not the girlfriend that eventually became the wife. Sorry, the, I heard the bean making noise behind me. I was just making sure he wasn't causing too much destruction. Anywho, uh, let's see here. Then there's Spider Man, which is Spider Man, but he's made of thousands of spiders. Spider Man, yeah. Spider Man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they all think that they're the real Peter Parker. All the all the individual spiders. All, every single one of them. They 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 work in like a hive mind. Terrifying. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I haven't seen a Spider-Man movie since since emo dancing Tobey Maguire. Ah, so the final Tobey Maguire movie. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, I have not uh, seen Sp- this. Spider-Man's uh, one of my favorite uh, comic book superheroes. So like, I anytime that I see Spider-Man stuff, I'm like, ooh, I get a little excited about that. You know, like. I, 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 I've got that, like, that Marvel movie burnout, but then I look at, like, Spider-Man and I go, man, I just, I can't stay mad at you. Yeah, yeah I mean, that that's fair. Everyone's got their thing, you know. I, I, I'm i still giving money to Blizzard Entertainment, even though they're terrible. Just, just terrible. Hey, I still have Amazon Prime. <laughs> no, that's fair, that's fair. I mean, we are on Twitch right now, so. Uh, yeah, please be nice to us, Papa Bezos. Yes. <laughs> please, sir. Uh... <laughs> I'll give you a so? hat to cover up the baldness. Ew. Uh, he don't need my hat. He got plenty of hats of his own. And moving swiftly and onward. Who? So last time when Sketch was here, we did the Farside Comics uh, game. This time, we're do- taking a slightly different approach. We are going to play a game that uh, is not two truths and one lie. It is one truth or one lie. You be the mm-hmm. judge. Uh, I don't have a, a good name for it, so I'm going to just call it true or false. And whenever there's a game in outer space, I get to trot out my third best friend in the world. And once I find out where it is on my list of things that I need to make show up here. There you are. The Wheel of Otter Nonsense. Nonsense. Uh, you, uh, have you seen the new wheel? Uh, I've seen the old wheel. <laughs> this is the new wheel. This this, this wheel uh, does not take as many... Uh, uh, um, 
I don't know, teraflops or what, whatever the digital currency that makes the computer go brrrr is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it runs better, is the long and the short of it. Um, nice. The, the previous Wheel of Outer Nonsense was run through freespinnerwheel.com or whatever the hell it was, and uh, I get the feeling the ads were not my friend. <laughs> mm, probably not. Probably not. So that said, uh, the way the game is played is each of us will take turns telling the other a quote-unquote fact about ourselves or our lives. And the other person has to make the decision whether it is true or false. And if the person that is telling the, the statement, is, or hold on, the, if the guesser is correct, then the person who tells the statement has to spin the wheel. If the guesser is incorrect, then the guesser needs to spin the wheel and suffer the consequences. Are you prepared? I am ready, Otter. Okay. So as my guest, you may start with a truth or a lie. Oh, very well, very well. Okay, so. Let's start off with a interesting one. Mm, so. Like interesting. True or false, I once broke both my legs simultaneously during a skateboarding accident. Hmm. Okay, uh-huh. so you've definitely skateboarded. I I have that inkling. Don't know what tells me that, but you definitely skateboard. Uh, what could give you that notion? What can I say? I'm a detective. Uh, <laughs> uh, that said, did you break both legs simultaneously? Mm. Uh, I'm going to take a shot in the dark and say you did break... A leg. You have broken both legs at some point, but never simultaneously. This is a false statement. Well, I would tell you that I have never broken a bone. Oh, okay. I'm right, but for, not for the wrong reason. I'll take it. You are, you are, you are half right, but we'll, for the purposes of the game, we'll say you are full right. T- technically, my statement being this is a false statement was correct. Yes, exactly. All right. Winner. Let's go. Let's go. go. Spin that wheel. (laughs) Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah! I was literally just talking to him about this. Son of a bitch. (laughs) Uh, Well, at least we're getting it out of the way with early today. Uh, Cal, I still think you're the best dang DPS in this raid group. (laughs) Uh, oh, I'm never getting away from this. Uh, oh, man. Uh, fun, uh, fun the legacy fact. continues. The legacy does continue. Uh, so, <laughs> like I said, I was literally just talking to Cal about this, actually. And I, I was just kind of muttering and mumbling about how it had showed up on my last stream, too. At the very end, by the way. So, we're, we're getting, we're, we're on the opposite end this time. At the very beginning, it shows up. Um, and he said, you know, fun fact. And, and apparently, he started working for the post office. Um mm-hmm. And he says, you know, they still, they actually call numbers of letters that you deliver in a certain time frame DPS. So your message on the board still counts. <laughs> and I said, uh, and I started grumbling about how often it shows up because it shows up a lot. Like half of our discord right now uh, for the, for our rating group is just clips from my streams where that stupid thing shows up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got a new one to add to the collection. Yeah, seriously. Hey, Cal, I don't know you, but you're, you're my homie. <laughs> Uh, I, I've slowly been trying to, to, to corrupt him into being a streamer, but, uh, it's slow mm, going. Mm. Man, man's busy. Man's busy. Uh, uh, hey, you know what? I feel that. It's that grind. Uh, yeah, indeed. Anywho, my turn. Um, mm-hmm. okay. Uh, so since I brought up the topic of post offices, I will say that I have a family member that has worked for the postal services. Hmm. I see. We're false. Well... Postal work is a respectable profession. It is a very, there's a lot of people that work it and it's uh, all across the nation. I'm going to say that's true. It is true. It is true. Hey, uh, hey let's go. Yeah, my, my grandfather was postal police. Um, postal police. Yeah. So uh, he, he was the guy that if somebody was ha- hassling a, new, a letter carrier, bro, bro goes out with a, with a semi-automatic. Um, or something like that. I don't know. I don't know guns. So it, it, I know he had a gun. <laughs> that's, that's all I remember growing up and, 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 and hearing about my, but you know, by the time I actually understood what kind of guns guns were, uh, he was already retired. So, uh, um, 
I could probably text him and ask, but eh, he might even be asleep. It's it's past eight o'clock on our hemisphere, so. Uh, oh man, listen, I'm past my bedtime. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Stay stay up just for you, water. I appreciate that. This is this <laughs> this right here. This is why you're becoming reliant on coffee. <laughs> uh, let me tell plan. you. It's the plan. Oh God. Uh, no, that's all right. I'll spin the wheel. I I have earned this punishment. <laughs> right, man. Right. Oh, son of a bitch. All right. Oh. I don't remember who added this one. It was this one was an add-on by somebody. Um. All right. Let me set a timer and go. Yep. So, uh, yep. It is now your turn. Yep. To say a true or false statement. Yep. Okay. Well, let, let's uh, let's divulge. Let's diverge a little bit. Yep. Uh, and let's go to the world of the wonderful world of League of Legends. League of Legends. Yep. Now, uh, am I? Well, true, true or false? Am I gold ranked in League of Legends? Gold ranked. Yep. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to say, yep, that that is true, yep. That is false. I'm silver. Ah, yep. Yep, me. <laughs> yep. I was on track to get to gold, but uh, a couple of uh, teammates and provisionals kind of uh, kept me from that gold tier. But, yeah, somebody else's fault, yep, I gotcha. I got mm-hmm. Always, always. I gotcha. St- <laughs> Standard League of Legend player, yep. Ma- Magical Warrior Sarah, yep. Thank you for following. Hey. Hi, honey. Thank you. I was going to say, I, I think that might be... Oh, that is uh, absolutely my wife. Uh, that's what I was saying. I was like, I feel like I remember this. Hello, Thul. Yep, thank, yep. thank you, Skitch Wife, for, for, for the follow. Magical Warrior Sarah. Mm-hmm. Face. All right. Uh, so I, I finally... That was one minute, by the way. I'm free of the yip uh, curse. Just in time to spin the wheel again. Yep. Hey, nothing says that uh, it won't happen again. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> Mother- <laughs> oh man! Cal is uh, really- the best DPS in the raid group. <laughs> And he's a really half grinding dec- that content. He's a half decent letter carrier too. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, Cal! He's not even subscribed to me anymore. He was for a bit. Oh, he's not anymore. Dip. Uh, mm. <laughs> This is, you know, this is what I get for giving him so much airtime talking about him. I, I deserve uh, that. I deserve that. That was, that was divine otter punishment. Listen, listen, that's good karma, though. That's good karma. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, all, all otters go to not heaven. I'll tell you that much for free. <laughs> I, mm, I don't know. Well, we go to Ottervana. Uh, ooh. Odhala. Odhala. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah. I like that one. Trademark, cra- copyrighted, copyrighted, Odd Hall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think it's your turn now, Otter. Yeah, yeah it, it is. <laughs> uh, I'll stop trying to copyright Afterlives. <laughs> For now. <laughs> okay. Um, bu- 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 bum, bum. Um, <laughs> my idiot brain follows the train of thought and goes, true or false, I'm currently dead. <laughs> <laughs> Answer carefully. <laughs> No, no, no. That, that, that is not my statement. I'm just that is that is what you call intrusive streamer thoughts, right there. <laughs> mm, absolutely, absolutely. Hey, I've had one or two of those. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, it pro- probably. Uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say my thing. Um, true or false? I own a pottery wheel. You own a pottery wheel. That ooh. Oh, that feels like such a niche thing, but also feels like that could be. Oh man, uh, I'm gonna say. You know what? I'll I'll double down. I'll say true. False. <laughs> <laughs> I own many pieces of craft equipment. I own some that I probably should not have spent the money on. I did it anyway. Uh, but pottery mm-hmm. wheel is not one of them. You know, the thing about pottery is um, you need to have hands that don't shake from years of coffee abuse. Uh, I don't have that. 
I do not have. I I have a. I am constantly in a slightly low frequency vibration. Yeah. Ooh, all ah. right. <laughs> all right. Okay. Spin of the wheel for the punishment. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Um. Let me think here. Who do I want to do an impression of? Hmm. I'm gonna. P you know what? I'm going to pick Otacon from Metal Gear Solid. Otacon. All right. Yes. <clears throat> Snake, have you found Metal Gear yet? I need you to take a few pictures of it and upload it to the to the computer nearby. That's actually not bad. <laughs> Thank you. I was hoping that you'd probably say like I don't know, like Snake or something, because then I could actually break out the David Hater like Otacon, this is Snake. I found Metal Gear. <laughs> no, no, I'm not that nice. <laughs> <laughs> so the question: If I point a gun at your crotch, will you pee? <laughs> Uh, I'll do, at that point, I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> I'll do a lot more than pee if you need me to. Just take the gun away. <laughs> oh man! All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, that uh, that was my turn. It is now mm -hmm. your turn. Otacon, uh, my tummy hurt. <laughs> Otacon, my tummy hurt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. I once escaped the center of a tornado without hmm. any injury. Hmm. Are you dead? <laughs> uh, no. That, so, um, that wasn't. <laughs> that wasn't the. Uh, that wasn't the, the question. <laughs> that wasn't the statement. Okay. 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 Um. I'm gonna go with, so so I think this is a trick question, right? I think you're playing a, I think you're pulling a fast one on me, Sketch. I think you you were in the center of a tornado. You did escape the center of the tornado, but you did not escape without injury. Ergo, technically a false statement. Hmm. I see. That is actually a true statement. Ah, bollocks. So there's a little bit of a story behind this one. So back when I was in high school, I went on a senior class field trip to uh, an amusement park. Mm -hmm. Right. Beautiful day. No clouds in sight. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, sunshiny, warm day. The minute we start going back to our buses to go back to, to the school mm -hmm. so we can get picked up to go home, it starts downpouring mm -hmm. and a tornado started forming ahead of us on the highway. Oh, geez. And it, it touched down on top of our bus. Wow. It, we actually we actually felt the bus lift and it popped open the emergency exits on the roof. If it touched down any sooner, we would have been thrown over the overpass. That's horrifying. There's some kids from that bus that are, are living with, like, wind-based PTSD right now. Shit. <laughs> let, let me tell you, I had a little bit of uh, a little bit of adrenaline going, so it didn't hit me at first. And then we stopped at, like, a McDonald's, like, gas station. <laughs> As we you do. At, we stopped at a McDonald's, like, gas station combo service station because there was two other tornadoes that were flanking us right. on the Jesus. way back home. And so we had to stop and, like, take shelter for, like, an hour. And I looked around, and I saw everyone, like, phoning home, like, talking to their parents. And I'm like, oh you will God. not believe this shit. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, my God, we could have died. <laughs> but, no, I did escape a tornado without injury. Okay. Shout out to the bus driver on that one. Uh, uh, oh, absolutely. Still, though, uh, you turn on a fan for some of those kids, and they go into Twitches. <laughs> uh, good Lord. Uh, As for me, I went on to Twitch. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, there it is. There it is. Hey, 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 hey. hey oh, uh, skitch on the Twitch. Um, yeah. So, 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 fun, fun fact. Um, uh, so, if if you ever find yourself in a situation where you need to avoid a tornado, and, and I only found this out because there was a tornado in my area, and um, my father-in-law does a lot of um, like heat HVAC and refrigeration and freezer installation. Blah 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 blah. Uh, turns out, if you go to, like, a, a chain restaurant, right, and that has, like, one of those walk-in freezers, mm -hmm. those things are, like, bomb shelters, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know they're, like, built like a, like a bank vault. Like, they're yeah. just impenetrable. So, like, when, when the tornado started touching down in our area, and my father-in-law talked to my wife, and was like, go to, so in our area, there's a restaurant called Friendly's. It's, like, a, 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 a ice cream restaurant. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm familiar. Okay. So, he's like, go to a Friendly's. Go to this one on this street. I actually built it. 
Um, go oh. and stay in. I can promise you, you'll be safe in there. I built it. <laughs> uh, and she uh, went. It, and she, it she, comes she, with certification. Yeah, yeah. It, it was a certified uh, uh, anti tornado freezer. Apparently, uh, she didn't. She did go to that restaurant. She did not, however, go into the freezer because uh, the tornado went the other direction. And people are like, they're like, you know what? You don't need to take shelter here. Go away or buy some ice cream. So she bought some ice cream because that's what to <laughs> do. Anyway, I've put off my fate long enough. Spin the wheel. Spin that wheel. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, hold on. Let me let me turn on my timer. Oh, for five minutes. Oh, yeah. that's brutal. Yeah, somebody, somebody, uh, I believe I have Resume to thank for this one. Resume! Uh, mm. Hey, shout out to my boy Resume over there. Resume's a lady. Or, but... or girl. My girl. My girl Resume. My shout bud. Out. All right, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not too familiar. <laughs> okay, five minutes. Set is the timer. I think that's good. I don't know. Uh, my turn, it is... Uh, Oh, no, my turn it is now. There we go. Hmm. Uh, uh, formulating thoughts like this hard, is it? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh, Confidence you must have. <laughs> ability to think normally I don't have. <laughs> Add in speaking patterns I would have difficulty doing. Uh... False or true, no, hmm. false or true it is that last week I replayed every Pikmin game I did. Oh. Okay, so specifically you're saying last week. That I feel like is a red herring. Red I'm going to say uh, a little bit, of, little, little bit of a red Pikmin it is. Uh, Best kind of Pikmin no. red is. I'm not going to debate that, but yeah. Bite me, you must. I don't want to. Uh, uh, I think that's false. Technically correct, you are. Ooh. But the best kind of correct that is the week before. The week before. Okay. No, I, I listen, I was on the right track with that. I was on the right track with that. On the right track, you were. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> Spin the wheel, I must. Long time, Spin five minutes. <laughs> Very uwu <ooh> Yoda. <laughs> this is the crossover I didn't expect. Here we go. Here we uh, go. Let's go. Um. Shit. Uh. uh. Force you must use a uh, Kiki little otter butt. Ooh. <laughs> uh, the force may be with you. The force may be with you. Darth Vader will kill you, woo. Uh, uh, right. shit. uh I'm dying in a swamp, <laughs> ooh. <-woo. laughs> Made by Jim Henson, I was, ooh. -woo. What was it? One of my favorite memes is like. Stole my ketamine, they did. Must turn into a Honda, uh, 2003 Honda Civic and vehicular manslaughter, I must. What the? <laughs> it's one of my favorite memes. If I can find it, I'll send it to you after the stream. My stick, my stick, my stick is better than bacon. <laughs> you ever hear that one? Oh, God, no. That uh, It sounds familiar, but I don't, uh, I can't recall. The, the seagull song, do you know? The seagull, oh, uh, 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 it was from Bad Lip Reading. Yep. Rocking, rocking, and rolling down, down to, to the, the beach. beach I'm strolling. <laughs> and the seagulls poking my, my head. head. Not, Not fun. fun. <laughs> I said, seagulls, <laughs> stop it now. <laughs> oh, God. No, no, no. I, listen, you, you have no idea because I used to sing that around my wife to the point where she just is done with me. <laughs> she will leave the room. I will clear the room if I start singing it. <laughs> Can of beans, I need to do that. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Them Dago Bell beans. Oh. Uh, all right. Dago Bell stew, uh, I will have. 
Let's see. Uh, it's my turn, huh? It is. Your turn it is. Okay. Long time five minutes is. It really is. really is. Um, 56 seconds I have left. All right, I'll go quick. I have a Tumblr blog with over 15,000 followers. After your humble brag about YouTube, believe that I might. Uh, Tumblr nobody has. I say false statement that is. It is true. Bollocks, I say. <laughs> it is not my main. My main has just under a thousand. It is actually a side gimmick blog called Shit Summoners Say. It was a League of Legends blog. Uh... Although I am not active on it anymore. So if anyone is uh, seeing this from over there, hi, how you doing? I'm a VTuber now. <laughs> L upward momentum he has. <laughs> Next step, Redditor. Uh, mm, let's <laughs> hey 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 let's 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 not get kidding, too carried I away. Am, kidding, oh. I am. Redditors. No. Oh, thank God, it's over. There we go. <laughs> uh, oh Lord, contagious it is. Yeah. Uh, you know there are certain things that I can like legitimately get stuck in. Like for some reason, a Russian accent. I don't know why. Um, mm, da, da. <laughs> uh, That's all I'm gonna give you. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, that's okay. Um, I, I can't, I, or, there, there are a lot of things that I can get stuck in, but Yoda accent, it's, it's very hard for me to do. Uh, for me, it's potholes. <laughs> ah, ayo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man who stands on, on toilet is high on pot. Uh, <laughs> ayo. Uh, all right. Ayo. I gotta, I gotta spin. I gotta spin. All right. I am getting my tail kicked today. Oh! 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 Uno oh, reverse! Can we get the double baby. reverse? Can we get the double Let's reverse? Find Let's find out. Let's go. Interesting. All right. That, hey, that's that karma. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! I gotta reload my model. I just noped so hard. I gotta reload my model. That's right. I was flying. I was flying around the place. <laughs> uh, I don't freaking believe this shit. Ah, Angie. Ah. Oh, that's sick, though. Oh, I don't believe that shit just happened. That shouldn't happen. Oh, that's great. <laughs> God, I, I got too that. smug. I got too smug for my own good. The universe needed to bring me back down. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, fine. Triple, 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 triple. <laughs> nope. Okay. All right. All right. Kind of anticlimactic. Be... But oh. I'll take it. I'll take it. A little, little anticlimactic, but I'll take it. Uh, so frustrating. There we go. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Okay. My turn, I think. Uh, yeah, I believe so, because that was the Tumblr one. Yep. Yeah, yeah, okay, um, let's see here. Oh, that, I, <laughs> that was brutal. That was, that was, that was harsh. You, oh. you raised, you ra my goodness, child. Oh. I, are you mocking me for being so loud, child? It I mean, that's, the beam. that's fair. I have woken the dark one. <laughs> to the defenses! <laughs> um, speaking of defenses, I'm gonna need a good fence to keep her in when we have that yard. Um, all right. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. Okay, so speaking of fences, I once built, poorly, a fence around a swimming pool. Hmm. You once been, built a fence around a swimming pool. I'm going to say true, because I have too. Damn. Yeah, very <laughs> poorly, mind you, but I did. Um, <laughs> it, it was subsequently torn down and replaced with an actual, like, proper fence. But I did build it once. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. And I painted it green. Oh, interesting. Green's like my fourth favorite color. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my god! What? What, what? is this? What is today? Are you kidding me? What? Oh my god! That's ridiculous. I don't believe this. Oh, okay. All right. I swear I'm gonna shit my non-existent pants if it comes up again. I. All right, I think all right, the, the, all right. this is a legend in the making. Okay, all right. That might have been, all okay. right. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> Bloop. Oh, my goodness. I got a little I... bean of my own. 
See, I have never seen it show up. Like, I've seen it maybe show up once per stream, but never three times, much less twice literally in oh, a row. That was... The, the double reverse, though. That was the double oh, uno oh. reverse. I, I, It is no longer a legend. It can happen. Oh, You've seen it here it, first, people. It can be done. Can be done, <laughs> and Otter hates it. <laughs> or I would love it if it was the other way around, but, you know. Anywho, uh, it is equal now. Equal opportunity emotions. E equal opportunity despised for myself yes go on it's your turn okay all right uh let's see uh, i uh, let's see okay so <clears throat> okay hold on I so, have... somebody's saying hey oh in chat but for some reason oh i bet it's my blue filter that's making that not show up properly uh, uh okay looks Okay, I literally can't see your name, and I'm so sorry. LMG3864. Uh, oh, it's LMG. Hi, LMG. Welcome to Outer Space, the part of your brain that hates doing dishes but wonders why there's always dishes to do. It's my old pal, LMG. Yeah, you've been making great guns on your game, man. I'm keeping, I'm waiting for that. Let me know as soon as that's live. I am uh, buying a copy and playing it. Um, Hell yeah. So, so, yeah, LMG is working on, um, on, on, uh, air, uh, hold on, my brain just keeled over on me. The uh, uh, LMG SMG. <laughs> no, it uh, arrow strike. There we go, arrow strike. I was just like Ooh. my brain completely keeled over on me. Uh, it is mm. a very interesting. It's kind of like a top down, uh, uh, like underground space shooter thing. Uh, it, it's hard to describe, but it is a lot of fun, and uh, I got horribly abused by it. Ah, uh. <laughs> horribly abused. Um, but, but there, you know, I, I, I unofficially call part of that section that if you, if you play the game and there, it's a bullet hell Metroidvania. Yes, that is a good. Oh, that difference. sounds sick. Yeah. In a spaceship. Uh, if you, if you buy it and you, you play it and you find this, this place where there's an S shaped hallway and a really big ship chasing you around. I, I unofficially call that otter's folly. <laughs> is that otter space? No, nah, no, nah, it's not otter's oh. place. I wish. <laughs> Uh, but, but yeah, so, so, so definitely check it out when it comes out. Arrow strike, uh, what is it? F51. I, there's some numbers associated with it, but yeah, ch check it out. Follow LMG on Twitter. Anyway, uh, it is now your turn. It's otter punishment. It was otter punishment. I shall dub it otter alley officially. Oh, well, thank you. Otter Alley? Hell yeah. Yeah, because, well, I, I, I was play testing it for him and I got stuck in this part and a, a, was so brutal because they're these really big ships and i just died over mm. and over and over on stream again <laughs> and Orange trial yeah it was it was it was definitely it was definitely a, a file a trial i was i was a <laughs> smoldering wreckage of an otter after that <laughs> anywho uh it is your All turn right. to tell the truth or a lie Okay. Yeah, he ended up <laughs> redoing see. that section because of the trouble I had in it. So. Oh, jeez. So that that's why I feel like I did make my mark. Yes, da, Bean. Good job. Da. Okay. Enough All interrupting right. sketch. On with it. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. It gave me time to think of one. Okay, so. True or false? I did the art for two board games that were published. Hmm. Hmm. You've been selling so many truths, I'm hesitant to say this one's true. Because I feel like this would be the time to pull the rug out from under me. But maybe you think that's what I think. So I'm going to say it's true. You'd be correct! Ha <laughs> <laughs> Finally! Duh! That's <laughs> right, Bean. All I'm right. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I did uh, after stream. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Yes. Uh, or anyway, no, uh, you were correct. Woo! All right, all right. Reverse, reverse psychology. Yeah, I had to reverse my own reverse psychology on myself. <laughs> you know, and now it makes sense because LMG's username is usually blue, and that's why it's not showing up. We have a, we have a blue chroma key, key on on screen right now, so that's that's why. Um, no, I like can see it on blue. the white background though. You can. I can see LMG at least. Uh, well, well, yeah, because the color is blacked out, but not the not yes. The, Anyway. Yes, I, I, I'm, just, I'm just saying I can see it because of the white behind yes, it. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Give us your okay. worst piece of life advice. Um, call her back. 
<laughs> that is a bad piece of life advice. <laughs> no, my my real piece of worst worst life advice is uh, always believe how you feel about your life after seven p.m. Mm, that is <laughs> that is very true. Or or uh, be, or before seven a.m. No, mm, yeah, so it's, yeah. it's pretty pretty much seven to seven. Just kind of don't exist for a little while. It's okay. The Princess Bride Listen, tactic worked for Otter. Yeah. Listen, I I always live my life in a constant state of three a.m. So I don't have to think. That's fair. That's fair. Um, <laughs> okay. So let's see here. Now it is my turn. Um. Hmm. Okay. True or false? I am a published author. Ooh, now we're hitting the good stuff. 3 a.m. when <laughs> 3 a.m. when the mind goes into overdrive. That's you know what? That's that's pretty true, especially if the bean wakes me up at 3 a.m. and then I'm up and I'm like, well, shit. Mm. Okay, so this one's tricky because it's I feel like it's easier than ever to become an author because of so many self-publishing uh, opportunities. So, and you have a very particular way with words. I'm gonna say true. False, false. Oh, okay. I, I, now, so there's kind of a, re a funny reason that I t I chose this. So, so I I am not a published author. So I used to I used to think that I was, and let me tell you why. Okay. So when I was a kid, I was in a, uh, a like a, a gifted student program. Hashtag humble brag. Uh, <laughs> There's been a lot of that uh, today, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. Um, and we, we, we all, everybody, every student in the program wrote a, a short story to be put into this anthology of, of stories. Now, hmm. when I was a kid, that's my phone, Bean. That's my phone. Thank you, darling. When I was a kid, and they created this anthology of stories, um, which obviously, you know, not looking back at it as a full ass adult. I'm like, well, yeah, they just gave copies to the kids and their parents, and that was it, right? Like, obviously. Mm. No, mm -mm. that's not what Young Otter thought. Young Otter thought he was a published author. Ah. Uh. Not the same thing, Otter. Not the same thing. Little Otter, <laughs> not the same thing. Um, but for the longest time, uh, from, like, kid to teenager... Uh, I was like, I'm a published author. Ha 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 ha. I'm so cool. Like a uh, <laughs> college college was a wake up call. Let me tell you, I needed it. I really did. Um, mm. yes, darling. Those are very cute squishmallows. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Bean. Good bean. I now have two squishmallows on my desk. Luckily, they're no, the small I, ones. I feel that like college is definitely the place where I went to like actually feel what real life was yeah. like. Yeah, so I, that that makes sense. I, I I feel like I did not become a functioning. Now I'm waiting for Otter's ten one hundred best jokes book to come out. Hmm. That hey, that's an idea. That is an idea. That's I an mean, idea. I, I, I could basically just uh, pr print out transcripts of all of my shorts. Hey, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> one hundred best jokes. Uh, listen, being a dad, you must have like fifty of them right on the belt. Yeah. Now that everybody, now that people are bringing it up, I'm like. I, this is the point where I would tell one, and it's like, creak, creak, creak. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hold on. I have a power now. I have a. I have a. There it is. <laughs> I have no idea if that actually picked up on stream or not. <laughs> I know it picked up over Discord, but I I cannot guarantee you that it picked up on stream. We will see in the vod. Yeah, I suppose we will. All right. Did <laughs> anybody else hear crickets? Let me know in the chat. Uh, in the meantime, however, you have a... We heard it! Yeah! Let's Yay! go! Let's go! Something worked! Yay! I, oh. I, I, today, I found the Discord soundboard, uh, and, and Skitch can tell you I was far more excited than I should have been. Hey, it, hey listen, I was just as excited, okay? It was, it was, it was a little, it was a little, little ridiculous how happy I was because, because, uh... <laughs> Uh, hey, hey. Um, so, 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 why, why is Skitch here and not an alternate time version of him? Mm, tell us. Because a Skitch in time saves nine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Why does Skitch's oh. tummy hurt so much? I don't know why. Because he always wolfs down his meals. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh man. Oh. So, so I, I, I had, I had the, the other day I had a, a, a single B in, but I was still hungry. Do you know why? Why? Because I wanted Moby in. Oh. oh, oh. Yeah, no, you know what? Oh, mm. I'll spin the wheel just for that one. Oh man, <laughs> that was a good one. Thank you. <laughs> These jokes will have them in sketches. Yeah. <laughs> The other person tells you what to tweet. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. <laughs> All right. Hold up. I got my phone. I got my phone right now and at the ready. You can see this in real time. Yep. Here yep. we go. Okay. Here we okay. go. Here um, we go. Uh, let's see here. Um, hmm. And this is going to be verbatim. I'm not going to add or, 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 or anything like that. This is verbatim. Okay. Okay. I got to I gotta have a good one. I, I got to have it. <laughs> Um, did you hear about the broke baker? He couldn't raise any dough. <laughs> wait, 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 where'd it go? Shit, I left the window. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> All right, did hashtag, you hear about... <laughs> hashtag beefos. Hashtag? Yep. Hashtag beefos, okay. And hashtag tag, me, tag me, obviously. Oh, of course. Yeah. Uh, uh, there, there you are. And send tweet. There we go. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> yes, Bean. Hello. All right. Okay. I believe... Was that mine that you mis misread, or did I... Uh, I believe so. You said you were a published author. Ah, yes. Okay, so now it is your turn. Yes, Pumpkin. What's up? Yeah. Aww. Say hi, Beanie. She hi, Bean. She waving. <laughs> she knows when I'm talking to the, the computer screen that the microphone is what I talk to, so she waves at the microphone. Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, that that that's there's correlation there. Yeah, clever Bean. She's missing a few steps, but she's got the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Blue okay. tiny bean mind one time I had VTube Studio open and she waved at the the my model and I made it wave back and she was like <gasps> <laughs> All right. So in my lifetime I have entered two Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments hmm. and I was knocked out on the final round of both. Ooh. Okay, so unironically, been there, man. Um <laughs> I used to play a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, uh, hmm. I'm going to say true. That's false. Shit. All right. Nope. There, there I go. entered two Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments, and I was knocked out first round both times. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I was thinking, okay, maybe he maybe he's playing the long con. He'll literally just tell me all truths. Nope. <laughs> there goes that theory right out the window. Just, just completely gone. Just, just... Oh, no. no. Got, hey, you got to change up every now and then. <laughs> I should not have this power. If I ever get a Steam hey, Deck, I'm attaching those sounds to it. Listen, uh, you, it's giving you that much more power. Listen, yes. it's you're only growing. No character. In Another now. one. All right. Well, this time it's your turn to give it. Uh, speaking. By the way, anybody in chat, can you can you confirm uh, that uh, the the background music is coming through? Okay. He got beat out by some kid who the way. <laughs> some spiky haired bastard just kind of came in and rocked his shit. At, at one of the tournaments, everyone got one of them weird amulets. I, I won't lie to you. I had a very small Millennium Puzzle necklace at one point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Character impression. Let's go. Uh, hmm. Let's go a little simple. We'll do, let's say Mario, in light of the Mario movie coming out uh, this past year. Okay. Um, hi, it's me, Chris Pratt. <laughs> you can, okay, you can hear the music, but it's faint. What about now? Is it too loud now? What? The joke is my turn. <laughs> Sorry, that was that was me being a dick. Uh, <laughs> just a little bit high. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Just a little bit high. I'm 
Just a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I'll wolf you down. Uh, oh, hey, hey, hey. This isn't uh, that kind of stream. Su subscribe to Otter Fans for more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I have turned the the background music down a bit. Hopefully, it's uh, audible without being too overbearing. Um, audible, audible, yeah. The, it's the new, it's the new, uh, it's the new uh, uh, book reading service, Audible. It's all uh, just <laughs> all books based on otters. <laughs> Which can I just say? Can I just say one second before I do my Mario impression? Uh, I just got to say the fact that the book "I Love You Like No Otter" is super misleading. Um, it is not a book about otters and their love for their children. It is literally just a book full of, uh, and, and it's like, I partially, I like it. If it was not misleading, I would like it. It's just like, like animal puns. And I respect mm. that. I do. But it was misleading in that the cover is like, I love you like no otter. And it's a cute book. And it makes you think that, oh, this is going to be a book about otters <clears throat> and shit. And no, no, there's one page of otters and that is it. I mean, they couldn't say much else. Otherwise they'd be lying. Ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, I, I I felt like they robbed me. Honestly, it was like they were a cheetah. Um, Otter fans is doing very well. It's amazing how many buy paw picks. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I I I have a strict shoes on all times uh, <laughs> rule. Can't confirm. She was stayed on hold. <laughs> there, uh, and that is how Otter got canceled. Uh, it's been nice being here. <laughs> Don't you lie to me. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry for the sexual harassment. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Miyamoto's going to be so angry with me. Uh. I'm a sorry peach. Yoshi does amazing things with the tongue. <laughs> Sorry, a peach, uh, but my heart is in another castle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh. Whose finger was that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm stopping now. I'm oh. sorry. I'm <laughs> Oh my goodness! Okay, uh. moving on. It is now my <laughs> turn to say a true or false statement. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, I. <laughs> uh, so I too used to play Yu-Gi-Oh quite a bit. Um, as I said, uh, being nice and not clipping that. I appreciate that, Voodoo. I do. I really do. Uh, <laughs> we 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 don't uh, we don't need to immortalize that one. <laughs> Um, uh, um, so, uh, so I do used to play quite a bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! And, um, so in the last Yu-Gi-Oh! deck I can remember having, my best monster was Chaos Dragon, Envoy of the End. True or false? Oh. Ooh, uh, hmm. I've been so out of the Yu-Gi-Oh! loop for years now. Oh, man. I don't know that card. Oh god. I I think I stopped playing before that card even came out unless that's a first generation card in which case then I'm just being an idiot uh, and I'm overthinking uh, this, but I'm going to say false. Uh, it's true. It's true. My last deck my ace card was Chaos Dragon Envoy of the End. Oh. And Are you it, Yeah, I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh a lot and then I don't know what happened, but then I became a magic kind of guy. I mean, you grow up at some point like Started with Pokemon cards, then Yu-Gi-Oh, and then nothing. <laughs> it was the legacy laid before me by my father. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> my uncle tried to get me into magic, and for some reason, my feeble otter brain could not wrap my head around magic. Uh, mm. Problem with no, magic I've, I've, is there's too many tricks. I mm -mm. see. For me, I prefer the way that magic lays things out because Yu-Gi-Oh feels like word salad a lot of the times. Well, you know, the thing about magic is I felt tapped out too much. I missed the oh, days of man. Chaos Emperor, Dragon, Envoy of the End, and Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning were top tier. Yes. Yeah, was it was it Chaos Emperor Dragon? I thought it was just Chaos Dragon. Chaos. Black Chaos Dragon. Hmm. I, yeah, they, they, I liked it a lot. And, and actually, fun fun story. Um, so, uh, my uncle. My uncle was far 
too into pretty much he got in really involved in anything his son got into which is was great was was very good uh very supportive of his son great great parenting move um unfortunately he went a little crazy here and there mm. um and it wasn't terribly bad but uh so he bought like boxes of booster packs like, oh, like wow. he wailed the game is, is really how i'm saying like like his his best card was credit card, um, <laughs> like it was not in defense position. This credit card was in attack position the whole uh, time. All attack all the time. Yeah, um, but I digress. Uh, and and don't get me wrong, he 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 earned every cent of his money. Uh, he definitely could spend it on whatever he wanted. Man's a physician, so um, okay, yeah. So he, he he you know he could do it. Going a little crazy does tend to cut ones, but the point being, um, he would let us open booster packs for him because he just didn't feel like going through the trouble of it. Um, so we'd open the booster pack, we'd look through it, and we'd hand it off to him, and those were his cards because they were he bought them. He just needed help opening them, basically. Um, yeah, bonding experience, right? Yeah. So so I opened the booster pack that had Chaos Emperor Dragon on way of the end, and I'm looking at it like mesmerized, mm. and I'm just like, oh, it's so cool. <laughs> And it's top tier at this particular point at this undisclosed location in time. Um, so, so my uncle seeing this, he's like, "All right, I'll make you a deal. If your luck is good enough, then you can keep that." And I said, "What do you mean if my luck is good enough?" And he takes that card and he puts it face down with two other cards, and he does the the. the, the yes, oh, quack, he quack, does the shell he game. He does the, the shell game. He goes, oh. he goes. If this is meant to be your card, you will find it. Oh, if that's not, some heart of the cards kind of. Uh, it was heart of the card shit because don't you know I flipped over Chaos Emperor Dragon on Boy of the End. Oh, the, you, hey, you had you yeah, had yes, your anime me. moment. I had my anime moment. I did. <laughs> I did, and, and that became the ace card of my deck, and I made people's life very unpleasant with it here and there. Uh, before and, and even out, and again, I was a weird kid. Uh, even Ooh. after I was done with Yu-Gi-Oh as a whole, I kept that card out as like a, a, a memento. I like uh, a memento. Oh, yeah. You gotta, you just gotta. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't until many years later when I really, like, just was like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm closing in on adult. It's time to be like, okay, somebody else can do better with these. And I, I gave, I, like, I, I, I don't remember what I did with them. I think I gave them to somebody that played. And I was like, here, you'll you'll get some use out of them. Hmm. Um, yeah, my, uh, back in, like, I think it was around 30 years ago. But uh, my my dad used to own a uh, a magic shop, like a like a magic card shop, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, after he closed down, he kept a, a just a, a small in comparison to the rest of the stock, but it was a pretty pretty big box of just right. like the old like '90s cards and everything. And uh, he gave them to me maybe like when I was in high school, and that was what kind of got me like to play. Mm -hmm. And then um, I remember I went to a card shop with my wife. Uh, a couple of years ago and we were opening some of the new packs i think it was it was either kaladesh or aether revolt one of the sets that was new at the time and in one of those sets was i think it was masterworks cards or masterpiece cards or something like that mm -hmm. so they're like artifacts that are really 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 nice so they're like they have their foil they have very specific borders to them and they're just super pretty right mm -hmm. And so a lot of these go for a lot of money, right? Like they, they went like one card, maybe went for like maybe $150. One of them maybe went for like 200. My wife pulled Mana Crypt, which on its own is a really good artifact. At the time it was $200. Oh, wow. And she, she goes, oh, this is a neat one, Mana Crypt. And everyone in the card shop, just the head turn, just what did you get? And everyone crowded around our table. And the, the, the guy that was working behind the counter at the time comes over with a top loader and hands it to her and just says, just, just take it, please put, put, put the card in there, please. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know where it is now. I know we still have it, but it's like, it's, it's packed away. Uh, I looked online and it's estimated to be around like $900 now. Oh, geez. Yeah, talk about talk about investment, right? Right. Yeah, there's your little nest egg. <laughs> but she's uh, uh, she's she's very she's very fond of the uh, of the card, so we're yeah. we're not going to sell it anytime soon. But it was oh that's my fair. god, that's like fair. that's pretty that, cool. That 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 was that was a moment, absolutely. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, it's it's uh, it's no black lotus, but let me tell you, ooh, that was a rush. <laughs> 
you see, you know, so here's the funny thing. Not being 838.05 currently on TCG Player, says Matt Madness. Thank right. you, Matt. Well, there you go. You were pretty close with 900. Now, last time I checked, it was like right. At, it was peaking at 900, and that was like maybe a couple months ago. So uh, I'm assuming as a, as a are you, st- you still play Magic? Question mark. Oh, absolutely! I love it. So, so I'm I'm not a Magic player, but um, I am a procrastinator at work. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I I wind up on the front page of Bing News very often um, because oh, I can I can Bing, hold on hold on can we stop right Bing? You're gonna okay. tell me you use Bing? Yeah, on Microsoft Edge, no less. Uh, oh. At work, at work. Oh. Oh, that pains me. <laughs> okay, so so well, okay, if it's at work, I'll I'll let it slide. But oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God. So 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 here's the thing. I I thought about changing my browser on my work computer to like Chrome or Firefox or something usable. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. but what uh Microsoft Edge has is this very useful. So for my particular job, I I spend a lot of time uh manipulating like images and pictures and and, and chunks of of uh like PDF files and, and, and sharing them and, and editing them and blah, 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 blah. What Microsoft Edge has is this little feature where you can just right click and web capture and you can like draw a square around something that you want to take a, a screenshot of. And it saves it as an image file, not a, not a separate screenshot. So it, it is very helpful in my particular line of work. Uh, anyways, and Bing just happens to be the uh, search engine that is preloaded on the work computer. So I don't know. Don't judge me. Uh, it's better than Chrome and view, printing in view. There you go. See, see. LMG Doesn't does. matter, Uncle Ben. I use Opera GX. <laughs> uh, but so, anyways, um, yeah. So a lot of times, if I'm, I, I work very efficiently. I think. Um, now the problem with that is efficiency means quick results and quick results means extra time. Um, so I end up very bored very often at work, um, because a lot of my job relies on other people to send me things that I need to complete. Yes. Good good, good, job. Good job. Um, so I end up having to wait for emails to come in a lot. So I end up with a lot of spare time. Yes. Exactly. Um, so I end up on the front page of Bing News pretty regularly. Anyway, back to the original point of me babbling on about this. Yes, I uh, apologize for the interruption. Oh, no, 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 no interruption. I'm, I'm interrupting myself. Um, the reason <laughs> oh, I bring okay. it up is because with Magic the Gathering being a thing, um, I see a lot of, like, uh, like gaming is the, the category that I put on the, the little front screen of, of Bing whatever. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> Anyway, so for days, all I saw was uh, that dude that used to work in quality control uh, apparently was hunting down, um, yeah, XQC, uh, was hunting down uh, the Magic the Gathering, uh, the, the One Ring. Ah, oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Apparently he didn't find it. Uh, I don't mm, know nope. who did. Uh, doesn't, doesn't really matter, but for some reason, for some reason that was like all that was all over that. I had the Star Wars TCG. Oh, interesting. Mm. Um, but it blows my mind that the one ring, right? So the, the one, yes. the, the fancy card, the fancy version, because apparently there's non fancy versions. Apparently Snuffy ate one. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Google, I ate the one ring. Um, it's a mm. Snuffy mm. thing. Uh, I think it was Snuffy anyway. Some VTuber apparently found one of the one ring, like not fancy versions and ate it. That's, okay. That's what we do as VTubers, I guess. Uh, mm. I mean, diminishing return, but all right. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, so so but, but it just blew my mind because like the apparently the the one one ring the fancy one that's apparently yep. written in in the dark script I think a serialized worker, one of one one of one yeah exactly yep. one of one ring um, it was something like two million dollars or some shit. Okay, so I've been following this one for a little bit. Yeah, the original. So more. there was a. Uh, a $2 million offer that was laid out by a game store in Spain. And they said that they were going to offer $2 million, a free flight, all expenses paid to Spain to have that person deliver it in person and a paella. And a paella. <laughs> and a paella. <laughs> you know, I wasn't going to do it at first, but the paella. Uh, you know what? But uh, the offer has since gone up to $3 million. I don't remember who put up the $3 million offer, but that was the current offer. 
so here's the thing, right? Um, why? Why? Like, why? Oh, I'd do it for the paella alone, right? Like The $3 million paella? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be the best damn paella I've ever had. It would also be the only paella I've ever had. But anyway. Well, I've never had paella. What is paella? Uh, I looked it up, but I still had, I still left with more questions than answers. Hmm. I mean, but, um, food, so you already got my yeah. attention. <laughs> But uh, so it, it's mainly because of the scarcity of it mm-hmm. and the fact that it's a fairly so it's it's a special set, right? It's a mm-hmm. special like limited run set. Um, it's a limited uh, serialization. There is literally only one, only one copy of that card exists, and it's not a bad artifact either. Like I I use the non special version in my own deck on MTG Arena, and it's not that bad. Like it. It, it's definitely one of those things where it's like it'll kick up the speed of your gameplay but it will just as easily kill you if you mm. aren't fast enough Hayaya is basically rice with various types of seafood or meat oh so it's like a stir fry yeah uh, I was I was gonna say like a gumbo oh yeah 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 hmm. alright th- mm. thank you LMG appreciate it wait is that LMG oh. that is still LMG yes sorry your name mm. is still blacked out I can't I gotta I gotta fiddle with that at some point. Uh, anywho, <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. Some something about like it, it's so they could have made more, right? They could have made I mean, more. The, the... So it's it's the thematics of it, yeah. right? Like it's 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 the one ring, the yeah. one ring, right? And for something as big as Lord of the Rings, like wouldn't you want mm-hmm. to make something so grand and so like fantasized and so like legendary? That it has the moniker of the One Ring. I do so. Mm, I I do get it. I do get it. But it's 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 about committing to the bit, you know. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> I, I, I guess. But like, okay. So what is value, right? Like, what is oh, value? God. Like, I there, could go there, on a rant. But there, I don't think there's we have your time for that. yeah. There's your philosophy. <laughs> there's your philosophy homework for the night sketch. Oh, what God. is value? Um, and and I, and I remember there's this and, and Adam Adam Conover Conover, Conover Adam ruins everything. Um, a video where where he kind of discussed the concept of value, and um, and it, it's it's like the, the kind of the example he uses like this person was really into The Rock, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, there there he got a cardboard cutout of The Rock, and. There's, so he's like, okay, so the cardboard that's printed on is the value of whatever small ass number, right? <laughs> uh, but she's like, no, it's priceless to me. I love it, and like, like there, there's your value right there, right? Um, but then similarly, her like in the in the skit, the aunt, her aunt comes in and is like, I know you love the rock, so here's a literal boulder. It cost me nine thousand dollars, and she's like, this has no value to me. It is a rock. <laughs> And, and like that's the paradigm, isn't it? Right. Like it's, to me. Right, but it, so that's that's just it, right? So like that would be like saying, oh, it's a ring, so it should have value, right? No, it's not just any ring. It's the one ring, such as it's the rock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the uh, the 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 big difference there is between a and the. Yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say. It's, it's a very <laughs> big difference there, and it, it, it's it's a fact. Sorry, sorry. This is this is my my. Uh, I don't know, psychology background taking over and, and just being fascinated by the concept of, of this. It is a shiny piece of cardboard, full stop. Like, mm-hmm. that is what it is. And um, that's valid. But, and, 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 but that that is, a, that is just a very literal translation of what it is, whereas its value is, is, is astronomical. Like, presentation makes or breaks things. But presentation, artificial scarcity... Um, there, there's there's the theatrics around it. Like, let's be honest, they were not hide like 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 Wizards of the Coast. They knew what they were doing. Oh, and, absolutely, and, and they, they absolutely they should. Doing. They've been in the business long enough, right? Like, say I, what you I want. I think they've earned the right. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, and I mean, so, so, there's some people that are not fans of the company right now, but but I digress. Um, mm-hmm. the, the, it was not by accident. It was by by design. Uh, that said, I will be selling the one and only Otter's Top Hat for uh, $9,766 uh, starting bid. Uh, so, what do you say? Uh, one Bitcoin. You're a bastard. 
<laughs> uh, no, I'm not selling my hat. I love my hat. <laughs> See, there, there, there's uh, uh, my ramble about the concept of value <laughs> over. Um, I think technically we actually still owe you a spin. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I think. Do we? I don't know. I've been rambling so long, I've forgotten what reality is. <laughs> um, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Mario impression? Was that the last one? That was that was my last punishment. Yes, but then... okay. Nah, I don't remember. Uh, yeah. well, let's just say it's your turn to say something. I won't. I won't spin the wheel. I think. So go ahead. Go ahead and give me a true or false. Okay. Well, I did say earlier that I have a. <laughs> While I was ranting, the Bitcoin's value went down by 50 cents. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, it would still cover that bid. Anyway, uh, so I was saying that I've got 15,000 followers on uh, on Tumblr. Mm -hmm. How Tumblr. many? Well, I, I shouldn't say how many. Do I have, is it, is it true or false? I have 3,000 followers on Instagram. I forgot the, the structure of the game here. <laughs> hmm. You know, I could just cheat and look you up, right? Yeah, but where's the fun in that? Yeah, no, you're right. You, <laughs> you called my bluff, and I am an honorable otter, if nothing else. Uh, an honorable. <laughs> uh, otter of all! Uh, there it is again. You download one free otter book from otterable.com. <laughs> and I got the C&D from Amazon. Or whoever owns uh, Audible. Who the, fuck, who the frick owns Audible? Is it just Audible? Papa Bezos. Oh, it is part of Amazon. It is, yes. Oh, uh, okay. I don't, know. I don't do audiobooks. You know, so here's the reason I don't do audiobooks. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll get to answering uh, the, the actual riddle. So, so. Okay. So I, I've made it no secret. I was raised by Grand Potter and Grand Potter, right? That's. that's mm -hmm. So here's the thing about old folks. They love like the original audiobooks were little cassettes with books on them. Okay. Right. Before before you before there was Audible, before there was Amazon, there was old people listening to romance novels on cassette. I see. Uh, um, and the thing about that is in car rides with Grandma Otter and Grand Potter, uh, I was often subjected to these books on tape. I see. And uh, if I if I may interject just briefly. Yes. Is this a ploy to stall for time while you look up whether I have an Instagram or not? Oh no, not at all. I, I like I said, I am an honorable otter. I, I, um, <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. For for the sake of, of, of brevity, I will just quickly say that um, uh, I got stuck in a car with my grandparents while there was a sex scene on an audiobook. At uh, all? Oh. Yeah. That that is why I do not like audiobooks. Okay. So there you go. Uh, I have a food to do it. <laughs> no, no. Um, so, so you have 3,000 followers on Instagram, true or false? I'm going to say uh, false. You have very close to 3,000, but not 3,000. You're correct in the fact that I don't have that many followers because I don't have an Instagram. Technically correct is still correct. <laughs> Technically correct is still correct. <laughs> All right. See, see, now, and that's how you know I definitely didn't cheat, too. Yes. All right. Now we are definitely spinning the wheel for you. Uh, yes, that that said, go. I do not ever recommend being stuck in a car where your grandparents are listening to a steamy romance novel. It was extremely mm. uncomfortable. I can imagine. Although I did get into audiobooks because I used to listen to H.P. Uh, Lovecraft stories. Mm, yeah. Asi asi aside from his uh, shortcomings as a uh, human being. Yeah, I'm, his stories were great though. Like I, I love the the cosmic horror. Like that that got me to love cosmic horror. <laughs> All the Viagra in the world won't fix that. <laughs> Grandma was like, she's faking. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell y'all a story. All right, this is this is hot and steamy otter story time. Okay, or not really hot and steamy, but like like possibly the most uncomfortable I've ever been in my life. Um, mm -hmm. So buckle up, kids. Here we go. Oh boy. So, so, um, fun fact, um, and, and, and this is, this is Otter After Dark, so if you're not 18 years old, get out of my stream right now, um, because you're about to hear something, um, that, uh, you know, is not meant for little ears. Um, it, it's not that bad, actually, but, um, so before I met my wife, I still had not stamped a particular card. Let's put it that way. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so, so my wife, who I am currently married to, uh, is also the only individual that I have ever had adult relationships with. No okay, shame, yeah. not ashamed of it. Happy with yeah, it, you yeah. know, very, very satisfied, as it were. Um, mm. Anyway, so prior to that, though, in college, um, my grandmother had me in the car one day, and I do not know how this conversation began, but she said mm-hmm. to me, Otter, someday soon, I imagine you're going to start sleeping around. Do you want me to buy you condoms? <laughs> uh, wow. Wow. Uh, um, direct into the point, huh? Yeah, my grandmother. <laughs> so there's a reason that I'm so blunt is this is who I was raised by. Um, okay, fair, fair, fair. I was like, Grandma. Hmm. No, I'm not. I just, I'm, I'm uh, look, I, I'm not, I'm not doing that right now. That's not where my mind's at. Thanks. But no, no I'm good. I'm good. She's like, okay, well. I mean, I, no, uh, no, listen, it, I, I'm, fl- I'm flattered and all, but what kind of game do you think I got? Yeah, no, so, so, no, but it gets better. It gets better. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. And she said, she said, okay, well, that's okay. That's fair. Okay, no problem. Don't, no, never rush it. You know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, she's like, but just, just let me know. And when you're ready, I will buy you condoms. And they won't be any regular condoms. So they're going to go up to here. And she just holds her hand up to her neck. And I go, ah, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, gra- Grandma Wilden. Uh. <laughs> And she's like, I just got, you got to make sure you're safe. There's a lot of shit out there and it can goddamn kill you. Uh, she uh, says, be always be safe. And I'm like, I'm still stuck on the wetsuit condoms. Like, I'm not over that moment yet. <laughs> so, yeah. So that, like I said, that was possibly the most uncomfortable I've ever been. Um, oh, man. So there you go. Now, now you are all stuck with it. Um, I said, don't think I've. I don't think I have anything to beat that. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, uh, anyway, we spin the wheel, right? Yeah, I, I can do yeah. worse, but uh, I think I think we'll save it for next time. Spin in the wheel. Yes, Bean. Spin, yes. Spin Luckily, you don't know what's going on yet. What mm. is your unpopular opinion, Sketch? I think I spent un- far too long talking about my own unpopular opinions. Ooh, my own unpopular opinion. Yes. This might be a cop out, but I think all eras of Sonic games are good. So, like, I, th- this is a very divisive topic, right? So, like, Sonic games have been known to divide the community, and that's been a very hot topic for a lot of people. Because there's a lot of people who are diehards for the classics, and there are people who are diehards for the moderns. I am in both camps because I started off with the classics, and as the series grew, I grew to love it more. So, like, like i'll play the old games and i will be thoroughly satisfied with them i'll play sonic mania and be thoroughly satisfied with it but i can also play so i can play and i can also play hot garbage like you know sonic uh, sonic forces and you know be totally happy with myself (laughs) fair enough fair enough um i you know i can't judge too much right i've been playing world of warcraft for decades now two decades Mm. 20 years how how old am i (laughs) I mean, oh, I, I, I played League for about 10 years, so I'm not too far off. When the devil did War... Hold on, hold on. Googling this. Uh, the one thing that all Sonic fans can agree is that the music of both eras are absolutely... Yeah, Sonic games... Oh, do absolutely. Have absolutely. Un, uh, listen, unabated agree on that. Yeah. And, 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 you know, so here... here fun fact, fun fact. Um, there was a crossover quest in Monster, or Monster Hunter Rise. Mm-hmm. Um and the reward was like some sonic sonic transmog basically um yeah looks goofy as hell on the the anime dude characters from monster hunter but it's still funny um but it yeah, was a, yeah. so it was a sonic crossover event and during that particular hunt you're you're chasing after um like a, i think it was called a nargakuga uh, and it's like oh this is shadow or whatever uh, but during that song they had playing live and learn uh, and I cannot tell you the like the tingles like like that moment of like I don't even know what to describe it at but it was it was an experience that I was not prepared for. Listen, love or hate the modern stuff, you know that's the anthem of a fandom. Yeah, it really is. Um, <laughs> especially since I spent an ungodly amount of time just replaying the final battle of Sonic Adventure Two. Um, oh. 
where Live and Learn is, is like an un, unreasonable amount of time just replaying that particular movie. Listen, listen, they they need to have it in the third movie. They just they just got it. Yes, especially yeah, exactly. Oh. Um, but yes, yeah, so something there. It was definitely like a brain tingle. Is the reason Live and Learn was a closing song for the anniversary concert? Yeah, absolutely. yeah, yeah, absolutely. When did <laughs> when did World War Two end? No, thank you. I'm good. Uh, mm, yeah. 2004. So yeah, yeah, it's it's almost been two decades. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, I'm old. <laughs> Dang. All right. Um. Oh. But yeah, de- definite like brain brain worms. Like as soon as that song started playing, I'm like. Ugh, uh. <laughs> and and okay, wh- so not an unpopular opinion, I think, but where the hell? Have the chows been? Uh, Where? Oh I, are I think I think that's a popular opinion. I think we talked about this the last time I was here. Probably. Yeah, because we 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 were. What was it? Uh, Poglings. Pog- I think you know, talked I was about. Just about to say, is Poglings even out? Hold on, let me Google that too. <laughs> Pogling. Poglongs? Nope. Pog- Pog- what? 2024. God damn it. So no, it's not out yet. In the future, it will be released. Possibly. <laughs> uh, possibly. Possibly. But it, I mean, it won't be Chow's, but it might scratch the itch. We'll find out. Stay tuned. Um, Any who's listening. We're on the edge of tomorrow. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, all right. Such a, such a good song, though. Um... Who was the last one of us that gave a, a topic? I believe that was... Bro, this is why I can't do three. Did they say you release the standalone Chow Garden is when they will reach a new golden era? It's free money! Uh, it's pretty much free money. Put it on mobile for crying out loud. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think it might have been my turn because we also... we Before... We we lost track of who it was, yeah. So I, th- I think it was my turn. So we'll we'll say it's your turn this okay, time. Fair enough. Um, okay. True or false? Um, mm. I have been chosen to be an officiant for a wedding because of, and I quote, my funny otter videos. I'd say that's false because you are a great friend to whoever it is that is asking you to be the officiant you're so sweet to say uh it actually is true um ah. not i mean i am good friends with them don't get me wrong um, <laughs> but that was not hi being you okay if i'm good what's wrong Beanie? you want to come up okay come here um uh, yeah i i am friends with them and the beat is on my head so there we go um <laughs> But, but yeah, no, so they saw some of my earliest shorts and were like, asked my wife, can he officiate the wedding? We'll pay for the certification for the day. But I saw his funny otter video and he's just so eloquent and I really would like him to officiate the wedding. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll do it. Hey, uh, listen, that's, yeah, th- th- that's an honor. Oh my God. <laughs> Actually, just yesterday we were we were out buying. Uh, we're we're not. Can you guys hear her fatty, farty mouth? Yeah. You just sitting oh, yeah. here going. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> you good? You good, Bean? You done? No. Okay. Uh, um. But yeah. So so my quote funny otter videos are what originally got me the job, as it were. Uh, good job. So your bo- your boy's gonna be an officiant in a couple of months. Hey, well earned. Thank you. And I get a tie out of the deal, so I'm good with it. There um, you go. Yeah, we just bought. Fun fun fact: the bean does not like soft pretzel bites. I was very sad because we went to what? the mall. Yeah, we went to the mall yesterday to buy uh, like shirt, button up shirts, and, and dress pants for the wedding. Um, and like I had to go to make sure that mine matched the rest of the wedding party to some degree, while still being distinct enough to know to denote that I am not part of the wedding party, but I am the officiant. Uh, mm-hmm. Anyway, so I got there early, and I was like. I almost never go to the mall because most malls are dying, bloated whale carcasses that don't have anything in them anymore except old people walking. Um, 
<laughs> um, so this is an actual mall that was still open. So I was like, I'm going to get me some soft pretzel bites. As and I'm going to share them with the bean because they're delicious and horrible for you, but delicious. And the bean wouldn't touch them. Really? Would not touch them. Oh, God. Her. Soft pretzel bites slap. Right. Oh, God. Like... You get the ones that got the cinnamon on them? Oh, those things are amazing! All you need is the plain ones. I uh, like the, oh. just the, just the buttery salt and the... the and I, I tried, I offered them to her plain. I offered them to her with cheese sauce on it. No. Mm -mm. She just, wow. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Like, she clamped her mouth shut. She did the, the kid not eating thing where the, you know, you try to <laughs> go, here comes the airplane! Oh, no! No, nope, the airplane, that, that airplane was not making it home. Uh, Just wait till she's a teenager; she'll love them. Yeah. And <laughs> right, right now, her, her. Actually, she, she. The bean is like, I gotta keep my dad. Nah, the, the bean, like, she lives on pickles and uh, carrots. She loves carrots for some reason. She, uh, she, she, know what? she just flat out stole a tomato at the store the other day. Oh. Uh, we paid for it. We went back and paid for it. But oh she, well, we she, got a little thief on our hands, yeah, huh? Yeah. She, well, she was hungry and she was not going to be stopped. <laughs> she saw a tomato. She grabbed it and she started eating it like an owl. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> la 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 is right kid. Yeah. Y'all hear her? <laughs> yeah. Um But yeah, so she 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 uh, she has very particular tastes and apparently uh pretzel bites and Chinese food does not ring does not uh tickle her fancy. Uh, she did eat spaghetti today. Oh uh, she used to not eat spaghetti, but she yeah la 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 la. Oh how did you know what I had for dinner? Because I put you in the hot jazz kitchen. <laughs> oh. And we're uncomfortable again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, so, so, fun fact about dinner, though. Um, uh, so, so, <laughs> so, all day I'm messaging my wife. She was out and about. Uh, and I'm like, hey, can you, when you get home, can you please make sure that we have spaghetti in the cabinet? Because there have been multiple times when I've gone home ready to make spaghetti, and I have auto-compulsive disorder. Once I get a thought in my head, I have to complete the process. Um, and I kept saying, can you please just make sure we have spaghetti? We, apparently, that was not the question I, was, I should have been asking the whole time. I should have been asking, please make sure we have spaghetti and spaghetti sauce. Because, so it was just plain spaghetti. Well, I mean, I, that wouldn't really be a problem because, let's be honest, spaghetti with just, like, butter and salt and pepper on it and maybe some Parmesan cheese, th that's, like, a terrible for you, but, like, comfort food. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Butter noodles, can't go wrong. Um, hmm. Anyway. I've been known to appreciate a good buttered noodle. Yes, there you go. Um, so, uh, that said, I did not realize... I had no spaghetti sauce because my dumb ass does not prepare everything ahead of time. My ass just goes step A to step B to step C to step D, right? Mm -hmm. So step A, brown the meat, right? Step B, uh, put the noodles in the pot. Step C, boil the pot. Step D, put the onions in the pan. Step E, add the spaghetti sauce to the pan. Oh shit, we're at step E and we don't have spaghetti sauce. Uh oh. So I've already got spaghetti boiling. I got meat browning. I got onions cooking. Uh, also browning, I guess technically. I've got the child. Charmalizing? Yeah, sure. I have a child climbing on my shoulder right now. Ah. Mm. Um. Anyway, long story short, I I marauded the cabinet for anything that I could find, and uh, so we had sofrito spaghetti tonight. Mm -hmm. It was uh not half bad actually. Um, child, why? <laughs> you tell him. Uh, this child is climbing me like a jungle jump. Uh, crazy. Anyways, uh, so she ate, she appreciated the sofrito apparently, uh, cause she, she ate most of her dinner, which is unusual for her. <laughs> My God, child. Oh, one energetic bean. Right? Well, I oh think this God. is—I think this is that uh, that last sputter as the candle gets ready to go out for the day. <laughs> so, like after stream, we'll do a diaper and a bottle, and she'll be out. It's the second wind. Uh, she she when when she starts getting tired to the point that she wants to sleep, she starts flaming harder. Mm. Um, because if this kid if this kid ever grows up to fight anything half as hard as she fights sleep, she will be the world martial art champion. Like, yeah, Goku. and then you ride that hey, you ride that fame all the way to the bank. Yeah, 
you know, only if I've earned it as a parent, only if, if I have, if I have been a good enough parent to her for her to want to. And try that's and, your, well, and that's that, your other fact for the day. Yeah. <laughs> what that I I don't want to take advantage of my child. Yeah. <laughs> That's, I that's hope the moral people already knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Not see, see, I still want people quand- pondering the the quandary of value. <laughs> the love philosophical child. Stop kicking the microphone, child. Stop <laughs> kicking the microphone, child. <laughs> oh, oh, you now you're loud. Now you think that's the funniest thing in the world, huh? Um, I uh, so that was. Did I actually oh. make you spit? Did you hear that? <laughs> Yeah, she uh, that was that was a <laughs> that was a big one. I mean, I would rather she kick the microphone than other parts, but like the other day, she she discovered axe kicking. Unfortunately, she was sitting on my lap at the time. Um, oh, see, good. I'm yeah. gonna go back to a previous comment and say start them early. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, my my voice was a couple octaves higher for a few hours. I'll tell you that much mm. for free. Um, mm. She definitely after that, she's not gonna have much competition for any inheritance. That's that's for sure. Um, you are being so crazy. Um, <laughs> I believe it's your turn to say a fact or a false. Or did I spin the wheel? Uh, I don't remember. I don't, I don't know where I am. Who are you? I, 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 I think I think it is time to spin the wheel. Okay, uh, okay you can have the deck card. Yes, I have to put you down. <laughs> Parenthood! <laughs> Speaking of condoms, here's your here's your birth control for the day. Ten push up oh. sketch. Oh god. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Just, uh, uh, bean presses. Uh, what? Yep. There we go. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh god, I hadn't done this in so long. Uh, five. Uh, six. Seven. Feel the burn. Uh, feel a lot right now, Otter. Uh, eight. What about eight? Okay, thank you. Yep. Uh, nine. Nine and a half. Ten. Okay. <laughs> All, All right. right. Now uh, that let, me, let, me, let me get back. Let me get back up here. Uh, 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 at least you, you took the time uh, to make your model go on the floor. Where whenever uh, I do it, I just my model just goes. <laughs> like that. So I, I move away, or, or like I'll. Just... Yeah. Oh, God. The bean oh. has uh, claimed. So I have on my desk. Uh, yeah. So so fun fun bean fact here. Uh, the bean recognizes anything as a rectangle as a cell phone. Um, okay. So I have a box of playing cards that uh, a coworker brought back from Vegas. Uh, because mm-hmm. apparently she decided I needed uh, Vegas quality playing cards, which kind of cool, kind of cool, uh, yeah, yeah. random but kind of cool. Um, the Bean, however, has decided this box of playing cards is her personal cell phone. Mm-hmm. Kids, mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, <laughs> just right, kid. All right, okay. That should have sounded like a cat. <laughs> yeah, no, that's her mouth. Thankfully, <laughs> does not yet smell like a commercial break. Um, mm. That said, we are getting down to the, the wire here, so um, I believe that was my last fact, so we will have you do the last round, say a last uh, true or false statement, and we'll go from there. Okay, all right. So, I have had a lot of video game consoles over my 30 years of life, and... Uh... See you later, LMG. Take it. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, we're not trying to beat the bean at true or false. The bean doesn't... The bean has no value in telling falsehoods yet, so... The the, the, the bean has no vested stake in this. True. <laughs> it's so, nodding, uh, too. That's the funny thing. Mm. So, I've had a lot of video game consoles over my 30 years of life. And I have made it known that in the uh, in the last BFOS that I was on, that the Sega Genesis was my first console. Right. So, was my first Nintendo console a handheld... Uh, oh, God, I... But I, I keep I keep I keep messing up what the what the structure of the game is. My first video game console was uh, my first I'm losing Nintendo my mind. console. True or false? Your first Nintendo console was a handheld. That, that yes, that's what I want to say. Okay, that's okay. I translate. I translate. Sketch. Thank you. Um, all right. Ow! The child just head butted my headset into my ear. Ah. Ah. Don't push the button. No. <laughs> 
can you say something? I don't know if she muted me or not. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, okay, okay. So I heard okay, that. Okay, cool. So, all right. So, <laughs> the, unfortunately, she happens to be on the side where my my headphone has a button that will mute anything. Uh, ah. So it's also the volume control. Not a great side to hold the bean on, but um, it's my left side, and my right hand is, you know, by the mouse, all my dominant doohickeys. Um, so that's kind of what... Anyway, um, I'm going to say false. Your first Nintendo console was not a handheld. It is true. Damn it. My first Nintendo console was, uh, was a Game Boy Pocket. Very nice. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> So, so I will spin the wheel in a moment, but I just want to let everybody know the bean is she has the concept of like shifting her weight upwards to make it look like she's jumping without actually jumping and going, huh? <laughs> yes, thank you, darling. Yeah, daddy's got to spin the wheel. You're crazy. One more wheel spin. One Let's more. go. Oh, God damn it. Hey! <laughs> All right. That's fair. That's fair. All right, bean, I got to put you down. Daddy's got his just desserts coming up. <laughs> Hoist on my own baton. Child, I have to put you down. She does this thing when I try to put her down where she'll just lift her legs up so I can't put her down without dropping her. <laughs> Child, you need to go down. Daddy's got to pay the piper. It's the burn from outer space. <laughs> no, no, just let me put you down. Child, I am not above dropping you. Aha. Now you're on your butt. Oh. All right, my microphone's on my desk, so I don't know how well you guys are going to hear me. All right, all right. Hold on, you know what? Hold on, what I can do. Let's see here. Do I have my headset on? Which one? Cool. I have lost all sound. <laughs> I can't hear you, Otter. No, I can't hear you, Otter. <laughs> okay, oh, there that, we go. That did not work. I was trying to turn my headset on so that I could, because I have a wireless headset. Mm -hmm. that microphone on it. I was yeah. trying to. Bean, what? Are you just talking to the microphone? All right. So I'm going to yell the numbers out loudly so you can hear me then. <laughs> All right, go for it. All right. One of my dogs just went under me, so I can't do the push up. <laughs> go away. Oh, go away. One. Me, go away, two. Two to fly. Like, Peter, not climb daddy o'clock. Four. Five. Oh. Try to get your butt out of my face. <laughs> she, she immediately went under me once. I propped her to do the push up and rolled over. So she went, hi, hey, it's my belly. Off my legs. I've only done four so far. Get away. <laughs> Various littles. Allow me to be. Get off of my flippers. Child. She's like sitting on my legs so I can't stretch them out. So I... <laughs> it's like you're practically halfway there. I'm not. I'm not even five yet. I got to Stop headbutting my tail! Don't go away! No! <laughs> this is not right, Daddy time! Uh, okay, okay. Five! There we go! Seven! Nine! Ten! Hey, there oh, we go! God. It was more difficult to getting to be able to do the push ups! <laughs> uh, yeah, is no, that funny? As soon as you left to go do some physical activity, the dog said, oh, it's party time. Well, I, I like, I get down. <laughs> I got my hands on the floor. I'm, I'm propped up in touch up positions. And she immediately just dives under me and rolls over. And I'm like, bitch, doodle, why? Like, she's a, she's a golden retriever mix, so she's a little stupid. Um, uh... But really, like, affectionate and just stupid and affectionate. Meanwhile, my cocker spaniel is just like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, uh, blah, uh, blah, uh, blah. <laughs> oh, chaos, chaos. 
Uh, alrighty, alright. So that was the last round. Definitely a climactic finish, as it were. Mm, absolutely. Well, that is going to be it for the night. Sketch, do you have anything to say to our lovely guests before we call it a day? Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. It was great to be here, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, oh man, I'll uh, <laughs> I'll be remembering this one for a while. Yeah, it was it was. I've definitely left you with some psychological scarring. Uh, <laughs> uh, I will see you in therapy. Uh, yeah, uh, you know what? You're not the first person, not the last person to say that to me. That said, <laughs> let's see here. Who shall we bother tonight? Um, all right, so we are gonna go ahead and raid our previous guest, Zaruk Windcaller. So let's get that started. Until next time, everybody, remember to stay odd out loud. It's a hell of a lot more fun that way. Good night. <laughs> Bye-bye.